prepositions. <gasps> I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. It's so hard to know. Do we use in, on, of, with? It's so hard because a lot of them is a fixed phrase and there is no apparent rule. Or you have so many exceptions. So typical English, right? In this video, I'm going to show you 10 useful phrases, each of them including a preposition, but not just any preposition. Prepositions that usually my students, they make mistakes with and they get confused. Is it in, on, at, with? <sighs> Who knows? So in three, two, one, let's go. Responsible for. For example, I am responsible for the success of my team. In charge of. For example, she is in charge of quality control. Count on. For example, you can count on me. Depend on. For example, it depends on the weather. Consist of. For example, this project consists of three sections. Think about or of. For example, I can't stop thinking about you. Focus on. For example, he needs to focus on his studies. Famous for. For example, Belgium is famous for its beer and chocolate. Interested in. For example, I am interested in football. Listen to. For example, yesterday I listened to rock music. So there we go, 10 useful phrases, each of them containing a preposition. Prepositions that many people make mistakes with. Many people forget to even use a preposition. For example, the amount of times I have heard my students saying, I listen the radio. No, always I listen to the radio. I listen to the radio. Unfortunately, the bad news is that there isn't really a rule for you to memorize. So we have to learn all of these phrases off by heart. We have to memorize them until we know them off by heart. You know what they say, practice makes perfect. So let's review all of these phrases and see if you can remember the prepositions. But first, do not forget to subscribe to English with Lewis if you'd like to really improve your English and practice business English, prepositions, phrasal verbs, and much, much more. Ready? Let's practice. Listen to, consist of, in charge of, think about or of, interested in, responsible for, depend on, famous for, focus on, count on. Good job, well done. Hopefully at this point, you know them all off by heart. You have learned them all off by heart and you've memorized them. So let's practice with some conversation questions. What type of music do you like listening to? What are you in charge of at work? What is Paris famous for in your opinion? Is it easy for you to focus on learning English? What are you thinking about doing this weekend? Now, I would like you to choose one, two, or even three of these conversation questions. And I want you to reply to them in the comments. And I would be delighted to respond and correct any mistakes you make. So I look forward to seeing them. As I said before, practice makes perfect. Ah, and by the way, I look forward to seeing them means that I am excited to see them. I want to see them. To look forward to plus an ing or a noun is to be excited about something happening in the future. For example, I'm also looking forward to going on holiday. 
obviously. Important tip. Given that we are focusing on prepositions and preposition mistakes, we have to remember that if we have a preposition followed by another verb, the next verb is always in the ing form, just like in the final two questions. Is it easy for you to focus on learning English? What are you thinking about doing this weekend? Time, before we finish, for a joke. What do you call a factory that sells generally decent things, decent goods? Let me repeat. What do you call a factory that sells decent goods? A satisfactory. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it? They just get worse and worse, don't they? So thank you for watching everybody and I hope you enjoyed this video and I really look forward to reading all of your responses in the comments section. So on that note, bye bye. See you later. Ciao.